What's our plan? Great. Where's the chute? We're 200 feet. It's too low for a chute. I don't need it anyway. What's up YouTube, ZW here, and this week, I want to show you guys how easy it is to start customizing. This is one of the simplest mods that I've done to create Bucky, the Winter Soldier. And in the spirit of the Falcon and Winter Soldier Disney Plus series, I will also show you how I made Falcon, which ironically might be the most tedious custom I've ever done so far. I guess they do make a good pair. Alright, let's start with the easy one. This is the Bucky Barn set made by Top Toys. It is a pretty good set, but it's missing a few important elements of Bucky. First, a body isn't included, so you will need to buy a standard 1-6 scale body. Hmm, let's see, what else is missing? I got a vibranium arm. Exactly, what's a Winter Soldier without his arm? Plus, it's not really a mod if you just put clothes on the body. You're just dressing up Barbie doll. As you can see, I've already removed the left arm. It is a pretty easy thing to do, just unscrew these screws and it pops right out. Now it's the matter of attaching the arm to the body. And this is actually a Hot Toys arm that I bought separately because it's meant to be an easy mod and I'm not going to print my own. The issue is that the joints are not the same. The arm has a ball joint which is a little bit too big than the body attachment. So the idea is to cut it up and make it bigger and hopefully the arm can fit. I cut myself, please be careful with sharp tools. I think it's still considered a, an easy mod, but you just need to be careful not to cut yourself. And after you trim it to fit the ball joint, just simply screw the two halves together. It doesn't have to be a perfect fit, you just want it to hold the arm and you can screw it back onto the body. Now that that's done, we want to get rid of the slave so that we can show the vibranium arm off. Otherwise, you might as well have a regular arm underneath, right? Duh. And to do that, flip the jacket inside out, find the seam, then cut the threads off. Careful not to cut into the fabric itself. And once the sleeve is separated, you are done. Simple, right? Now is the time for the hard part, Falcon. A little disclaimer first, I started this project before the airing of the series, so I only had some concept art to work with. And the aim is to recreate Falcon as close as I could get it to be, with the tools I have right now. It looks like he has an entirely new suit with a new set of wings, and the main issue would be the wings. Since it's an entirely new design, I can't just repaint the Hot Toys one. So let's 3D print one ourselves. What I did here was to download a game asset of Falcon, imported into ZBrush. I removed the man, duplicated the wings another two times, scaled them down, and with a little modification, I ended up with this. Time to print. But before that, let's talk a little about the printing process. And who better to tell you about printing than the creators themselves, Form Labs. Not sponsored. SLA stands for Stereolithography, a 3D printing process that uses a UV laser to cure liquid resin into hardened plastic. At the beginning of the print, a build platform is lowered into the resin, leaving only a thin layer of liquid in between the platform and the bottom of the tank. Galvanometers direct the UV laser through a transparent window at the bottom of the resin tank, drawing a cross-section of the 3D model and selectively hardening the material. The print is built in consecutive layers, each less than 100 microns thick. When a layer is complete, the part is peeled from the bottom of the tank, letting fresh resin flow beneath, and the platform is lowered once again. Since printing is a big part of this particular project, I thought I should touch on it a little bit more. The video did an amazing job to give you an idea of what printing is. So now let me show you the process. After creating the wings on ZBrush, I cut it up because it's just too large to print them as a whole. 
there are 4 parts. Each takes about 20 hours brain, so basically 4 days for one set of wings. It is actually really easy to set it up for printing. The program Preform helps generate support, which are basically a series of branches that hold the actual print in place during the printing. And they will have to be removed manually from the print after the printing is done. Each part of the wings is so large, the amount of supports needed is a lot as well, which means a lot of the materials are wasted. Look at this, it's larger than my palm. That's what she said. <sighs> While the printer is working its ass off, let's do something about the suit. I have this cheap knockoff Captain America from Team of Prototyping, and I think a simple repaint could do the trick. First, I want to remove these red stripes because the Falcon suit doesn't have them. And to recreate the little V at the center of the suit, I'm gonna cut the shape out, like this. The pants are actually a little too huge, as you can see. So I'm just gonna flip it over and sew it tight as such. Now it's tight fit. Let's pay. Hey, guess what? The wings are ready. Basically, we gotta glue these parts together. So no, it's not articulated. Wouldn't it be cool though? But I'm not an engineer and this is the best I can come out with within two weeks. I glued them together with a combination of glue and two-part epoxy clay at the back. And after sanding them smooth to make them look like one whole piece, I painted them up. And it's done. Don't do anything stupid till I get back. How can I? You're taking all this stupid with you. How does it feel? Like it's someone else's. It isn't. 